Hello everyone and welcome back to another Price CP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to put together uh, almost everything that we have learned in the past couple of lessons, or maybe a lot of the things that we have learned in the past couple of lessons into this one lesson. And today we're going to build our own custom starter character. It's going to be an unconventional character with just one part, so it's going to be an R1 as opposed to the standard starter character, which is in R6 with six parts or R15 with 15 different parts. Our character again is gonna be uh, an R1 with one single part. So let's start by adding a part. I'm gonna add a sphere, right? And let's uh, change the color to red. I'm gonna change the name instead of part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it head. And I'm going to add a decal, an image decal, to the front of my part. So I'm going to go to uh, the toolbox and I'm going to select an image, double click on, the click on the image, and then the image goes to the front of the part. All right, so now we have the body for our character. Our character is going to contain just the head, so the body is just the head. The next thing we need is we're going to need to have a humanoid root part. In order for our character to be able to move around, we're going to need to have a humanoid root part. So to get the humanoid root part, I'm going to do a control D of the head. So now I have two heads. I'm going to rename this to humanoid root part. Make sure you spell it exactly the way it is right here. You can go ahead and expand it and remove the front facing, the decal. And I'm going to select my humanoid root part. I'm going to change the transparency to 1. So I'm going to make it completely transparent. Now in order for your character to work, you're going to need to weld the head to the humanoid root part. But you know what? Let's leave it unwelded and we'll see what happens if we don't weld the two parts together. And we'll come back and fix it right so now i'm just going to select the head and the humanoid root part i'm going to right click group change it change the name to starter character all right and we're going to move our starter character to the starter player so our game is going to everybody who joins our game is going to start with this character the next thing we need, uh, we need one more thing for our character, and that is the humanoid object. So two ways you can do it. You can define a starter humanoid inside the, the uh, starter player, as we did in our prior tutorial. Or you can just, here we have a starter character. You can just click on the plus sign and add a humanoid to it. I'm just going to change a few things inside our humanoid object. So I'm going to go down in the properties window. I'm going to uncheck break joints on death since our character does not have any joint so it doesn't matter anyway and I'm going to uncheck requires neck since our character has no neck joint all right and let's scroll down a little bit more I'm going to change the uh, walk speed to 30 so we're going to make the character run a little faster and jump power to 100 so it, it jumps a little higher let's now play and take a look Now, if I move, you can see that my humanoid root part has left my body. So the humanoid root part is like the soul uh, of the character, and if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, nail it to to the the body, if you don't anchor it, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't weld it to the body, then it's gonna leave the body. It's just, it's almost as if your soul has left your body, and we don't want that. So let's go back. And we're gonna weld the two parts together. And it's a good thing that we have learned how to weld, how to use weld constraint in Roblox. So all we, so all we gotta do, we're gonna click on the head, we're gonna click on the plus sign, and we're gonna uh, search for weld constraint, select weld constraint, and then we're gonna select weld constraint. We're gonna go to properties window. For part zero, I'm gonna click on part zero. I'm gonna select the head. Let me scroll up a little bit. 
and I'm going to click on part one. I'm going to select the humanoid root part. So now the humanoid root part and the head has been welded together by this weld constraint. All right, let's play again and take a look. And here you can see I can move around, right? And my humanoid root part has not left the body. My soul has not left my body. It's staying with the, the body, with the character. Now, if you go up here and you click on view and open the outlook window, you're going to see that there, there is a warning message in there. And the reason for that is if you expand your character, you're going to see there is an animate script. And the animate script is looking for all these joints, which we don't have. Our character does not have all these joints. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to our starter player, right? Go to the starter, go to the starter player, go to the starter character script. We're going to add a script, a local script, and we're going to name it animate. So remember from our prior tutorial, anything you put inside the starter character scripts, it's going to be copied into your character. And our script, our animate script, is going to be an empty script. Let's play again, take a look. Now we should have no warning message because we're not looking for those joints anymore. You see, there is no warning message inside the um, output window. Let me close it. Let me close the output window now and um, let's test. So uh, first thing I'm going to test is I'm going to test this pool right here. It's the death pool. Well, it's the lava pool. And the lava pool is going to take away all my health. It's going to set my health to zero. And I should die and respawn. And there it is. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this exploding orb. And that should kill, that should kill me as well. And I respawn. All right, uh, the third thing we have here is the, the uh, brick joint. The brick joint is not, brick joints is not gonna kill me because I have no joints, but it's gonna break my welds. So now my humanoid root part has left the body again. So uh, if you want this brick, if your game has brick joints in it, you're gonna want to script that differently. You wanna replace that with the, um, the same as the lava pool here, so that it takes away the player's health instead of doing break joints. And that way it would kill the player and the player would uh, respawn. Well, it would kill the character and the character would respawn. All right, um, let me reset this game. Let's play again. Now, um, let me test the the staircase here. So I'm gonna go up on the staircase, right? I'm gonna go, so it, it's able to climb the steps. That, that's what I'm testing. And the final thing I wanna test here is I wanna see what happened if I fall off of the, uh, the base plate. Is it gonna kill me? All right, so I fell off and it did not kill me. Apparently it separated my humanoid root part from the body again. So once again, you're gonna need to handle the situation with the script. Similar to the break joints, you just have to kill the character by taking away all of the character's health. And let me just show you the script inside the exploding orb. So actually the explosion inside the exploding orb, it, it didn't kill my character either, but I handled it. I put the script in there to take away the uh, humanoid's health. I set it to zero when when I touch the orb, uh, it takes away all my health, and that's what kill me. Without this one line here, if I comment this out and I go back into the game, if I touch the exploding orb now, it's not going to kill me, but it's going to separate my humanoid root part. Oh, where did I go? It's going to separate my humanoid root part from my body. You see, my body is going over there, but look at my humanoid root part is over here. So whenever you have like a special situation where the uh, unconventional character does not work, you just gotta handle it with a script.
So that's how you build your own unconventional custom character in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon.